Yeah. It is something that is probably so little, Timmy. so slight mm -hmm. and so insignificant, you wouldn't really even know the difference. Subtle. That's why you don't really even recognize that there is a letter B mm -hmm. in the word. Subtle. Did you see? I smile. No. Oh. In a subtle way. You wouldn't really even recognize. And that, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, is how I grew up in Toastmasters. Subtle. It is back in July 2012, I thought of visiting a Toastmasters club in Kuwait on my birthday. Wow. <laughs> See how interesting my life is? <laughs> Attending Toastmasters on my birthday. But little did I know that this subtle move helped me greatly in a way that I never knew I could. The moment in the day I met the president of Active Minds Toastmasters Club, Toastmaster Raymond. Needless to say, Toastmaster Raymond is a great part of my journey in Toastmasters, as he tried to always provide me tips, tools, and techniques in order for me to become a better speaker. And for that, he didn't only become a mentor, he also became a good friend. And the moment he stepped on a big podium in a speech contest in Dubai, I was so proud. Another Filipino on the big stage, I'm inspired. I felt that I really want to be like him, a winner. And then he told me, Del, you're already a winner because the person who become the winner in here is the person who become better after the contest. And you did it. After two years, another July 2014, I left Kuwait. Mm -hmm. And eventually, he also left Kuwait. I've never seen him since, but we kept in touch in Facebook. Chatting, sharing our stories, our dramas, our adventures, my adventures here in Korea. We shared also our Toastmasters journey. He is in Toastmaster Philippines and still providing me tips, tools, and techniques for me to even become better. And that made me win a speech contest in Korea in 2015. However, even though it's like that, our eager mentoring sessions and chats became just simple hi and hello. I don't know. It didn't really happen in a snap of a finger, but it happened just in a subtle way. Maybe because of my busy lifestyle and his own personal stuff. But Another July of this year, I thought of just sending him a message because we never really talked each other since, probably for four months. And then I said to him, hey, big brother Raymond, happy birthday. Take care always. But I did not get a response. I, my message was also not seen. So I was a little bit curious and a little bit hurt. I thought of checking his Facebook profile. And I found out that he, at that moment, was in the ICU hospital. And after two days, the news was not subtle, as messages were flooding and saying, rest in peace, our dear friend, Raymond. For me, he is not a family member, but what happened to him hurt me so much. We had a good time back in Kuwait 
and Toastmasters. And I felt that I wasn't really there for him as a friend. As I tried to recall his life, I thought he didn't really have an easy life. In fact, it was challenging. But I learned from him that he's the man that can never be put down. As he tried to live with honor and dignity. As a restaurant manager, as a teacher, as a Toastmaster, as a brother and as a friend. But now that he's gone, everything doesn't mean anything anymore to him. But for the people, but for the people's lives that he touched, it still matters, just like for me. As I learned from him that we should always try to keep our connections with people, saying hi, hello, no matter how subtle it is, but be sincere. How are you? You're great. You're enough. No matter how subtle, we must say the words to our friends with care. Do it. Because we will never know how these words could give an impact and importance to the lives of the people. Do it. It may be subtle, but do it with care. Mr. Toastmaster.